As part of the process taught by the Forgiveness Project, individuals create mind maps in which journeys held inside our heads become visible and a destination more certain. Each of us have at some time felt trapped in a waiting room. Even though you never brought me a present or a card on my birthdays. Even though you hit my mum and then you broke her arm and you slammed it in the door that time. Even though you made me hate you for breaking up our home. Even though you don't deserve it, I still felt sad for you dad and cried on the day of your funeral. Each of us have at some time felt trapped in a waiting room, not knowing where to focus our eyes. I feel very angry with myself, the way I treated my parents when I was younger. I done some things what I ain't proud of, and things happened to me when I was younger, and I know it's been hard for them, and with me treating them the way I treated them, I'm sorry for that, and I just hope they know that I am sorry for that. Each of us have at some time felt trapped in a waiting room, not knowing where to focus our eyes, locked up but insecure. I physically hurt and emotionally destroyed many people's lives and left them scarred for life. Because of that, I've destroyed the person I once was. Now I've got to try and accept the hurt and pain I've caused those people and somehow learn to forgive myself for being the person I once was. Each of us have at some time felt trapped in a waiting room, not knowing where to focus our eyes, locked up but insecure, languishing in limbo. What happened to me was when I fired that gun, it was the people around me, some I knew, some I didn't, families, ordinary people, your mother, someone's brother, a little sister, and it's me firing a gun. Am I the bogeyman in their nightmares? Am I the ogre in their life? As a consequence of what I did, what's happening to them? And I can't find them. I can't ask them for forgiveness. There's a lot of them I don't even know. That's why I'm here in this room. And I can't get out. One day, through forgiveness, we will step away from confinement, leaving all those people that are locked up, trapped inside us, free at last free from the restraints of the room and consigned to the past forever. <laughs>